the other one. <laughs> now we're coming down. Hard bounce. I like it. That was just the right amount of thrill. <laughs> My name is Brian Chase. I buy and sell business jets, turboprops, and helicopters so that I can afford to feed my love of flying. After 16 years of helping other people live the dream of aircraft ownership, my wife Kim, son Thomas, and I recently purchased our own aircraft, a Cirrus SR-22 that desperately needed some love and attention. Join us on our journey as we experience the joys of personal flying, meeting new people, and learning how to become more advanced and more proficient pilots. This is the Chase Aviation Channel. Hey everybody, Brian, Kim, and Thomas behind the camera. Um, we're doing a, an interesting, different video. We're going flying in a hot air balloon this time, not the Cirrus. Um, so a couple of months ago, we took part in a local fundraiser. One of the donations was a a uh, hot air balloon ride from a local operator. Um, so of course we bid on that. <laughs> it's the only thing I bid on. And it was right at the very end of the auction. And there was like, all these people spent all this money on all these other really cool things. And it, when it came time for this this bid, it was like, I was the only one that bid on it. So it felt pretty great about um, donating to this organization though. So. It was, it was great, and today is the day that we finally get to go do it. We've been struggling for good weather. I think we've missed four or five previously scheduled flights, and so now we're finally going to get to go on it. Yes, and it's cool because it's October now, so it's fall. So hopefully we'll get to see some cool fall colors. Should be some great foliage. So what I'm going to do is set up a, I'm going to have a 360 camera going the whole time. Sit back, relax and enjoy the flight. Hey everybody, it's Kim. Brian. And Thomas behind the camera here. Stay tuned for a hot air balloon ride. So it turned out to be an absolutely beautiful night for a balloon ride. Um, the winds were like six to seven knots out of the northwest, which brought us uh, right down the lake. And um, it really couldn't have been better. We showed up about 4.15, the crew was already there getting the balloon out. Um, there's four ground crew and then Jeff, the pilot, and they make such a great team. You can tell they really like each other and get along well. So Kim got busy signing our lives away and we, uh, got loaded up into the truck for our safety briefing. Hi, my name's Jeff Turner. I've been flying since 1989. I'm going to be your pilot this afternoon. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them after the briefing. Safety is our paramount concern and we have a very good safety record. That's why we're doing the video. Skysail has two different balloons that they operate. Um, the other one is black and like a rainbow kind of scheme, and this one is the Jesus balloon. Um, I didn't catch the full story behind the origins of it. Jeff didn't build it new, um, but it was really cool to go <laughs> flying with Jesus. Um, I just, you know, it's kind of made me feel at ease. And it's really neat because this is one of the only pictures of Jesus smiling. And it looks like he's giving a thumbs up there, but he, I guess he's holding something. So um, the risen Christ by the sea is the name of the balloon. And it was really cool. It was uh, neat to just sort of have that as part of aviation. And you feel closer to God when you're up there. Well, yeah. <laughs> as long as we miss the scoreboard. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of tension. Wow, we're off. <laughs> that was 
probably over the trees. Yeah. We're gonna make it. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Oh, neat. I'm sorry, I bonked you right in the head there. I didn't even feel there it. There's more tension on the line than I was expecting. That's all right. I got a thick oh, skull. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit here, not because it's boring, but because it's just slow and it doesn't show a whole lot, you know, for a YouTube video uh, pressed for time. But um, it's really neat being up there. Everything is it's very quiet and we're in a place that we're used to being and seeing all these sites. Uh, but we usually have a really loud engine that lets us know we're <laughs> doing everything right. In this case, it's just very quiet. It's very peaceful, uh, except for the flamethrower right above your head that goes off every you know, every minute or so to maintain altitude. Jeff was kind enough to give me some burner time here. On? Or the, the red trigger there, right there. Yep. Ready? Go ahead. And that's sort of all there is to it. <laughs> Not really. I think there's a lot that goes into learning about uh, hot air ballooning. Very different than anything, any other form of piloting. But you can see there's a big delay in when you apply thrust, power, heat uh, to when it starts actually generating lift. And then on the other side of that, it starts coming back down, obviously. And you probably takes a long time to develop the skills to know when to apply power to properly arrest your descent and make it an efficient flight rather than always overcompensating. They sure are. The yellow. Black. Oh, sorry. We're, this is going to be a fairly short landing. We're going to have to put away the cameras. You All right. Be hanging on. Bend your knees, face the direction of travel, stay in the basket. Thrilling landings I've seen this season. <laughs> yeah, I'm not supposed to do that with other pilots. That was definitely a more exciting landing than I was anticipating that we would get given how beautiful the weather was and how light the winds were but they definitely seemed to have picked up a little bit and um, we were warned in that safety briefing that that was a very distinct possibility in fact there was a like a cartoon image of people flying out of the basket is a <laughs> an extreme circumstance but um it really wasn't that bad. It it uh, left no injuries and it wasn't scary at all. It just it looked really uh, home. thrilling, as the one guy said. That was so much fun.
Well, I'm sorry it bumped you down. So no, no, that was really fun. Sometimes when you're trying to squeeze it into a little hole, you have to yep. be more aggressive than you'd like to be. The, the, none of it was boring, but but that <laughs> but that made it that actually made it. I, I'm really well, glad, glad that. that yep. That was just the right amount of thrill. Yes. <laughs> He had, he, no comment. He said, oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We're more thrill seekers than you are. <laughs> That's all right. You oh, face you, your fears you and crushed. you get more into it as you, you go. Cry. Yep. I had you laying on top of me. <laughs> well, it's better your mom than me. <laughs> Imagine if I squished you. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I try not to lay Thanks for watching, everybody. Really enjoyed that flight, and a special thank you to Jeff Turner and the SkySail crew there. I'm going to link their website below, and um, if you're in the area and want to go for a ride, give them a shout. They're a very professional organization. Uh, they brought champagne and uh, sparkling grape juice afterwards for, for everybody. Uh, they even leave a bottle of champagne for the people whose yard they land in. I think that's a ballooning tradition, but we helped uh, pack it up by <laughs> crushing the balloon. So that entire balloon fits into that sack right there. Um, also, I have created a new Instagram account just kind of for the purposes of flying rather than selling airplanes. It's uh, Instagram at fly.guy.bry. So make sure you look me up there. And uh, we're looking forward to doing more videos and we'll see you in the next one.